all welcome to rams android tutorials in this tutorial we are going to discuss spinner in android generally the spinner provides a quick way to select one value from set of values so generally it is like a drop down box in our websites you can understand now let us see the program how to display the spinner and from that particular spinner how to select a one value from set of values so we need to take a view called spinner and uh, we are giving with this wrap content matches match parent is a uh, wrap content and with i am taking match parent and uh, id we are taking the date plus id just a uh, spinner now you are coming to the main activity we need to call the spinner here spinner reference first of all spinner spinner equal to spinner main view by id r dot id dot spinner next we need to prepare the data so for that uh, we are taking the data like uh, fine in the previous example we have taken the array to select the country the same array we will take so that one we will get here auto complete text in that example fine so here we have this array we are taking the data here this is the data set now next we need to create a adapter object Basically, we are going to use a red adapter. Adapter equal to new a red adapter of first parameter the context value. Second one is the text view. Using which text view you want to display this data? So we are selecting the text view from the predefined text view from the Android package. A dot layout dot simple underscore Fine, drop down item underscore line, we'll check that one. Simple underscore, there is an item called simple underscore spinner underscore list underscore item, otherwise a spinner underscore item. Next, the data is nothing but countries. Next, we need to set this adapter to the spinner. So, spinner dot, we need to call the method set adapter of adapter now we will check now whether we are able to display the spinner successfully or not and you can find this code in my blog just by searching here the search bar just by typing spinner so I will keep this link source code link in my uh, description so you can get that uh, directly the code using that uh, link you see the spinner we are selecting see all countries it is uh, displayed see all countries so we can select the country like the set of values you can select a one value so this is called spinner by defaultly whenever you are displaying the spinner in the data set whatever the data set we are giving to the spinner defaultly the first item is going to be selected defaultly okay next after selecting an item from the spinner how we can understand which item has been selected 
means we need to go for the listener concept here again for this winner we need to use the interface called set on item selected listener and we need to implement this interface in this interface we are having two methods one is on item selected another one is on nothing selected whenever you are selecting any item from this spinner on item selected method will be executed and that item position it is giving in this integer value integer parameter and if you are passing that integer value to this uh, array you can get the exact item that user has been selected that's why just i'm making a toast here toast dot make text of giving a context value and here we are saying countries of i this i we are passing here now but because in the spinner also the items uh, are going to start from the zero onwards and the array also items started from zero onwards that's why just we are passing that value to the array then we can get the exact item what we have selected as i said default it is going to select a uh, first item so you can check whenever we are displaying the spinner it is selecting the first item from this data set see first item selected from the data set and if i am selecting is aruba then you see aruba so in this way you can use the spinner so whenever you have a requirement in your application you want to display multiple items to the user but user is going to select one item in that way you can use the spinner why because two to three values multiple choice if you want to provide to the user then you can use the radio button is radio group like male female by selecting the gender but you have this many items you need to go to the spinner why because if this many items you want to display in the activity so entire activity is occupied by these items only and there is a space for the other items which you want to display in the activity that's why if you have a more items to display to the user and you want to get only one item from the user as a input by selecting out of all these items selecting one item then you can use this spinner concept thank you for watching and you can get more examples in my blog called ramsandrider.blogspot.in so i will give the link below and if you like my video you can subscribe my channel and you can share my videos to others thank you